We're now speaking with Mike Bell from First Graphene. Now, it's an update on the cement and concrete side of the business, the kind of headline that does grab a lot of attention. You've announced that you're looking to reduce CO2 emissions from cement production by around 16%. So tell us about this Pure Graph product. Tell us about how it came about and the development. Yeah, sure. Uh, so over the last few years, nearly four years now, we've been working on uh, developing an additive that goes into the cement and concrete industry. Initially, it was focused on the concrete additive market, so something you put in when you make concrete, but soon or very quickly it became apparent we need to focus on the cement space. So we have uh, created this additive that gets put in during the manufacture of cement, uh, and it basically enables you to reduce the amount of clinker or the offensive CO2 emitting uh, component uh, of cement uh, and to the level of somewhere between 16 and 20% uh, whilst maintaining the same sort of strength. So for those that know concrete, uh, we're, we're basically targeting creating a, a SEM2 product that performs the same in terms of strength as a SEM1 product. So instead of 90 plus percent clinker, you're talking 60% clinker, same strength, same outcome. And this is something we've been working with the UK's largest cement provider, the Breeden Group at their Hope Works facility in the UK. Now, one of the privileges of having that partnership is that we have access to scale. So whilst many graphene companies are trying to focus and develop additives like this, we've done that through the laboratory and now through an, at an industrial scale. So we have produced over the last four years, thousands of tons of cement to uh, get a product that is market ready. So our product, which we call Pure Graph Sem, is uh, available now and can be used by cement manufacturers. And this trial that we're talking about here is more of a culmination of the work we have done and now starting to put it into large scale projects within the UK. So tell us more about this trial that you're launching now, where really it's more of an introduction to the market. Yeah, so we use the term trial because we're still uh, a trialing part of a dosing mechanism, the way you put graphene into the cement manufacturing process. But the product itself is proven. You know, we are able to say it, it gives you a 16 to 20% reduction in CO2 emissions or 20% you know, strength enhancement because it's been proven out. We've been through that laboratory scale process many, many times. And we've also been through that industrial scale process. So when we, when we manufacture in this uh, trial, it's more of a uh, production readiness or a display of how it performs in real world use cases such as railway systems, roof tiles. So we use the term trial very broadly. It's not really a trial, it's more of a proof of concept into the market. Tell us a bit more about these partnerships that are helping you to develop and launch this to the world. Yes, yeah, so over the last four years, as I mentioned, we've been working very, very closely with the Breeden Group. So that is the UK's largest cement producer. They've been a fantastic partner for us, giving us full access to the largest cement plant in the UK. So they've really helped us. They've been a real advocate of our technology and they're obviously where we intend to sort of push our product through mass adoption. So they're our sort of um, manufacturing partner as such. Now in the, in the program that we've got, we've really targeted uh, projects that have a predictable timeline, uh, that have uh, good use for the material, but also sort of fit in line with what we're trying to do with decarbonizing uh, the cement and concrete industry. So Breen Group, we've, we've worked with for a long period of time, as we have with both FP McCann and Morgan Sindel. So FP McCann is one of the UK's largest precast manufacturers. So they make drainage pipes, they make concrete roof tiles, real broad range of products. Now we've partnered with them to uh, essentially create a roof tile for the UK residential housing market that has a lower CO2 emission associated with it. So that's work we've been working, we've been working with them for some time. Uh, Morgan Sindel, much the same. We've done several projects with Morgan Sindel using our graphene enhanced cement. Uh, so they're using our, our the trial material in a light rail system within London. Uh, so it's great to have them uh, continuing to use our material. And then Breeden themselves are putting a permanent structure in their facility that they want to use graphene enhanced cement, which is a testament to how it performs if they're choosing to use it. Can you tell us a bit more about the expectations around the consequences and uses of this product in the real world. 
is 16% reduction of CO2 emissions and an across the board figure for all the formulations? So the cement and concrete industry, depending where you get your data from, they contribute about 8% of global CO2 emissions. So really, if we want to decarbonize the world and reduce those CO2 emissions, we really should start with the cement and concrete industry. Now, we have developed a solution that gives them a chance to reduce that 8% by something like 16 to 20%. So it's a significant um, option for them. A lot of people in the cement, you know, mainly in the cement space, are looking at all the technologies they possibly can to try and get their, their CO2 emissions down. There is obviously things like carbon capture, which is a very expensive way of capturing the CO2. But there are a number of technologies, including graphene, that can give you a head start on reducing that. So we do see it as being a huge potential. Obviously, we can only move as fast as what our adopters push it. So the cement and concrete industry is inherently uh, risk adverse, uh, as is a lot of the infrastructure projects that are really calling for CO2 uh, reduce CO2, uh, cement and concrete, they're also quite risk adverse to new technologies. So it's really a case of aligning those. We have a solution ready to go now that can offer those reductions. Uh, and it's more a case of educating the market that it's available. And we do that through getting our material into these large scale projects. We want to be able to create a, a, a situation where clients are asking for our material due to the CO2 story, and they can pull that demand through the cement manufacturers. Well, it's a very exciting time right now, but tell us, Mike, what is next for First Graphene, the cement and concrete segment of the business, and Pure Graph? Yeah, so as I said, this is you know, these are real-world projects. Um, they are of a scale that is significant to us, but our intent for the space is to keep securing those projects, creating that demand for, for real use or real-world um, use cases that will pull the demand through breeding, so really starting to put pressure on the cement producers to offer a material like this. Uh, so we continue, we, we plan further runs in the new year uh, that will go into further projects and we'll just start building that pool of projects and project successes to create a bit of buzz with the intent of securing much larger demand in the foreseeable future. Well, all the best with it. We look forward to seeing this out in the world. Thank you so much.